All right, so we're going to tackle the question of whether or not diatomaceous earth is effective at deworming chickens. So I did research for you, so you don't have to. So anyhow, the brand we're going to discuss is Red Lake Earth because the study I found, that's what they used, and that's what I happened to get at Tractor Supply when I bought it. But um, I will say, where I live, we have fire ants, and I used it religiously on fire ant mounds to try and kill this mound. It's completely useless. I mean, it did kill some ants, but the mound itself, no, it's bigger than ever. But you can use it to chase ants out of a chicken coop or a certain area. It will be effective at doing that. You can sprinkle it around in your coop. It will be effective at um, helping with pest roaches or whatever in there and lice and mites. Topically, it is effective against lice and mites. You can dust your chickens with it. I did make a little mask um, out of two dust masks for my chickens when I dusted them with it. Um, so it is proven to be effective that way. But as far as worms in your bird reducing the pest load, the study that I found, I only found one study, and it was through the University of British Columbia in Canada, and they used um, two different Rhode Island Red hybrids. They were breeds I'd never heard of, and that's what I decided that they were. I may be wrong, but anyhow. And they fed half of them the DE, and the other half they did not. And for the most part, one of the um, hybrids was more resistant naturally to worms than the other breed. But anyhow, in one of the studies, basically, there was absolutely no difference to speak of in the birds that were fed DE and were not. And in the other half of the group, the birds were naturally more resistant to the, it did improve their ability to naturally be more resistant to the worms. But they believe it was a secondary effect, not a direct effect, because, and it's all a theory, they believe that the red clay that is also in the DE provides trace elements to the birds, and so thereby increasing their um, feed conversion ability, and they also lay bigger, better eggs. And so it can be beneficial, but it does not directly reduce their worm load, because when DE is wet, it essentially does nothing. It it's absorbs moisture, it's very moisture absorbent, and it's not going to affect the worms in their body that way. However, if they're eating the DE, they're going to poop it out. And when it dries again, I believe it would be effective again, because they talk about wetting DE and using it on your garden, and when it dries, it's effective. So I would believe it would be the same in their manure, so I think it would have a secondary effect in their manure as far as spreading the worms, and that's just my personal theory. And I also think it's beneficial in their feed because it is a drying agent, and it's going to keep bugs out of your feed. So it certainly could be beneficial in that sense, um, thereby making your feed more nutritious too, or keeping it, not letting it deteriorate. So I've decided to go ahead and buy it and use it in their feed since there's a chance it's beneficial and it's really fairly inexpensive and it's uh, a non-toxic way you can help reduce pests in the coop and things. And like I said, it can be used topically too. So when I bring my birds home from the fair, I'm going to dust them with DE as preventative so we are not bringing home lice or mites or anything. And in the study, they used 2% DE in the feed. And so my quick calculations came up with about one cup of DE per 50 pound bag of feed if you wanted to use it in your feed. Um, and if you wanted to look up and read the 10 page study yourself, there's um, the Chicken Whisperer is the one who posted the link to the actual study. So if you Google the Chicken Whisperer fact or chicken poop and scroll down near the bottom, you can find the article that he made, which seems to be the best thing I found with real information about the benefits of DE. So that's it.